Hey guys, welcome to Swatch Fest. So, I hope you all had a really great Thanksgiving. It is the Saturday after Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you had a really great week. But here we celebrated Thanksgiving and we just had my parents up and it was just a really nice, super casual time where, you know what? I don't eat too much turkey. I don't eat too much pie. I don't eat too much mashed potatoes. But the stuffing and the yams is where it's at for me. So, uh, so delicious. And then, you know, I don't have stuffings and yam stuffings, stuffing and yams for like a whole year. So, but um, yeah, our Thanksgiving was super great. I hope yours was too, filled with love and friendship and family. So we're gonna get into Swatch Fest. If this is your first time here, let me give you a little tour. <laughs> what Swatch Fest is, is you know, on my channel, I review collections all the time, full collections so that you can see everything that's in them and really know what you want to pick. On Swatch Fest, it's a time where I just get to talk to you about random polishes that don't fit into a certain collection because I don't just buy polishes that are in collections, I buy whatever I want. So sometimes it doesn't fit into a review and I'm like, these poor polishes, they never get talked about, they never get shown some love. So Swatch Fest was born, now I have a time every weekend when I can talk about whatever polishes I want to, and we just get to talk about our weeks, we get to have a little bit of fun, and every Saturday I have a giveaway, so I give one of you six polishes from my stash, and it's just going to be completely random, and I pick it out of the um, comments section below. So you need to just comment down there and let me know if you want to enter. You do need to be subscribed. And <sighs> I'm super excited to let you guys know that I am going to be doing this giveaway internationally now. So for the past year or more, we've been doing Swatch Fest giveaway, and it has just been domestic here in the U.S. I've been telling Tim for a long time that I want to include all my international friends and subscribers in this giveaway. It's just it's about three times more expensive for me to do it and I really don't want to make it about money and finally he was just like let's just do it let's do it so every weekend we'll include everybody so I'm so excited to let you guys know that so if you've never entered Swatch Fest giveaway before now is the time to do it if you weren't able to get these polishes because you weren't domestic so that means lots of the polishes you see here on my channel that you're not able to get wherever you're living now you might be able to get it so that makes me so happy i have so many happy things to talk to you guys about but that's the first thing that now i'm going to be able to send my polishes to all of you the other thing that i'm going to be sending to all of you hopefully is um my collection my brand is launching my holiday collection is launching this next thursday so I'm going to be giving you a whole live application review on Wednesday and later on in today's Swatch Fest I'll give you some sneak peeks of the colors. But that's the other thing that I am offering international shipping on and I know I've had a lot of questions on that. Wherever you live you can purchase these polishes so let's get into Swatch Fest. So much happy news to tell you guys right up front. Let's get into it. So I try to include a color in every um, you know, basic color of the rainbow. So we start with red, pink, orange, yellow like that. So let's get going. We're going to start with red. So my red polish this week comes from the brand Wim, and I have seen this brand at Ulta for a while, and I just never picked it up because I thought it was ridiculously overpriced, so now I picked it up, and I wanted to see what it was like. So this brand that I am, or this polish that I'm reviewing today is called Hashtag Trending, and it's just a deep berry red. That's all. It's nothing too special or too interesting, but um, yeah, here's the deal. I thought it was good. This polish is only 9.5 milliliters. That is half the size approximately of an Orly nail polish. So I picked up a couple of Wim polishes when I was at the salon. I think it was when I was getting my hair cut. Um, and so I was like, okay, it's time to try it because I think they were buy one, get one free or buy one, get one half off or something. So I was like, okay, let me try these polishes. And I'm just looking on their website here and they normally retail for $10. But I guess um, they're having a really great sale right now where they're $2.97. So I'm filming this video today on Black Friday, which is yesterday if you're watching this on Saturday. And so I think that's why they're on this super duper great sale. If I hadn't already sent all my money to Zoya, I would participate in this sale because um, essentially this polish is great. There's nothing really wrong with this. This has a great two coat formula. I thought it was really beautiful. It wasn't really anything special. And for the $10 price tag for 9.5 milliliters, I think that, you know, the $2.97 price that you can get it for today on Black Friday, which today when you're watching it, I'm not sure if that will still be there. 
um, is much more of an appropriate price, I think, in my opinion, for this. You know, something that's not indie, it's mass marketed, and it's a really small amount. So, anyway, I thought it was nice, but it wasn't like, it didn't blow my socks off. Next up, we're going to talk about pink, as we always do, and today I have a DS polish from OPI, and this is a pink one, and it is called Reserve, and this polish is kind of like a medium warm rose, and it has silver glitters in there and little teeny tiny holographics, and this is beautiful. It's great at two coats. Um, as with most pinks, this didn't really, you know, what didn't really do it for me, but it was really pretty, and it, of course, went on really nicely. So speaking of Black Friday, you guys know I did a video. I actually filmed it to go live on Friday, but I ended up making it live on Thursday on Thanksgiving because Zoya's promo code actually went live on Thursday, and so I hurried and just, it was already done, but I just uploaded it that day. Hopefully that didn't um, confuse anybody because I was talking about that day being Black Friday in the video. Anyway, I think you guys understood. But yeah, that was the craziest Black Friday sale I saw anywhere, like out of anything, not just beauty products. So you know I took advantage and I actually picked up, I went there, first thing I picked up 20 polishes and then I was like, um, yeah, I'm going to need a few more. So I placed another, a second order, so you guys, I wasn't joking in that video when I said I was going to be all over that sale. So I polishes for $3. Soy is my jam. So I was all over it. And another thing that I purchased, not on Black Friday, but kind of recently, um, ColourPlop had, ColourPlop, oh, don't tell them I called them that. Okay. ColourPlop had their holiday um, sets. Yeah, this is a holiday set. And look at how cute the little record, oh my goodness, I hadn't seen this on anybody's channel, and so I didn't know it was going to come like this. But I got the to and from Lippy Sticks collection that comes with um, one, two, three, six matte lippy sticks. Some are matte X and some are just regular matte. So I just want to show you what I got really quick in here. We're not going to go into it too extensively because if you look, um, just, I like, it's so cute. It has leopard or cheetah print in there and then it has, they're all black and um, the lippies that came in here, let's see, what are they called? They are Parker, Cami, Baywatch, Pack Pack, Weekender, and Tutu. And I just showed you here on my hand so you can see what they look like really quick. And they are really nice, of course. They are just absolutely beautiful. And so yeah, this wasn't a Black Friday sale, but I just wanted to show you guys this because it was another purchase that I made recently and I was really enjoying it. All right, so let's move along to orange. Today's orange polish is from Black Dahlia Lacquer. And this is um, called, let's see, Dandelion Fields, and this is a beautiful rusty orange, and it's kind of like a burnt orange, and it just has tons of um, gold, tiny little gold metallic flecks in there, um, some kind of warmer orange flecks in there. This is really, really beautiful. I thought this was lovely. The application was great. My opinion of this brand is great. I've liked everything that I've tried from them so far. They are an eight milliliter bottle. They are a fun little bottle size. I haven't been to their website to see how much they um, retail for their eight milliliter bottles, but I do, and I have enjoyed that everything that I've tried from them. So yeah, like this one.
So I think it's been a minute since I've had a polish in Swatch Press where I really didn't like it. And unfortunately, it's my yellow polish this week. I know it's such a bummer. Yellow is like one of my favorite colors. It's really almost my favorite color. Purple and yellow make me feel very happy whenever I see them. So anyway, this polish was a major nah for me. So this is Wet n Wild Mega Last um, Cali Sunshine. And I don't even exactly remember what collection this was in. I feel like it was in the one that was in that I found in Rite Aid a while ago. And I picked up a bunch of shades and some of them were good, but this one, I did not like it. So it had definitely more of a crelly to jelly formula. And so it didn't get very opaque, even at three coats. And then what happened was because it was kind of thicker to do the three coats, it was kind of thick on my nail and it kind of looks like egg yolks on my nail, which is kind of funny because I'm wearing, definitely wearing an interesting yellow shade here. Like not, you know, it's kind of more like a fall yellow. And so you might think that this is kind of the same as that, but I don't know, something about painting this on my nails and the consistency of it, I was like egg yolks, oh no. Um, so yeah, this was a pass for me. talking about makeup products let's go ahead and talk about what's on my face real quick so um lippy stick i have another lippy stick on my lips and this is the only one from them that i got in that um purchase that wasn't in that holiday set so i went ahead and picked up ColourPop um oh snap it's a matte uh, lippy I almost called it a polish i always do that and i remember watching young girl the polish and she said she said this was her favorite ColourPop lippy of all of them and so maybe she said lipstick of all time. I think she might have said lipstick of all time. I think it was a D-stash video, something like that. Anyway, so I was like, okay, I gotta try it. So this is what it looks like on me. It's like bordering a dead color on me because this does have a lot of gray in it. Um, so I don't know, I like it. It's definitely like a very comfortable, easy color to wear because it's, you can wear it with anything. I mean, I didn't do a crazy eye today, but I, you could wear it really probably with anything. So anyway, it feels really nice. It's lovely. It's really just kind of a easy everyday color to wear except it does have quite a bit of gray so i don't know if it's because of my skin tone or something i was like mm, i'm not sure about that on my eyes today i am wearing this rimmel scandalize eyeshadow paint in the shade golden bronze and that's what is all over my lids i have like in my crease i have the shade and light eye palette Kat Von D in my crease and a little bit darkened in the cre in the corner but this is what's all over my lids so i really enjoyed this and i thought it was going to be messy to apply i've had this for like a year or more and oh, I don't even know if I've opened it but I really liked it today so that's what's on there today so we're on to green and I have a really awesome bright green from Kiko today and the number is 531 and I'll put the name here for you because I always do look that up online and it's gorgeous this is definitely a two coater um, you, you you know you can see a ton of the nail line after one coat but that's no big deal because uh, two coats it looks really nice and it's just a very cool green that cool toned green just so much sparkle in this though it's just absolutely gorgeous so i really love this I really enjoyed this week was from Zoya and because I was ordering from Zoya I was like oh yeah I need to find in my big swatch bin I have a big swatch bin of all the polishes that I want to swatch for you guys on Saturdays and just kind of pull them randomly but I was like I need to try some of the Zoyas I picked up and the whatever that was that go Zoya purchase order they were all 50% off um so this one's called yummy and this is very yummy and I'm sorry I didn't talk to you about this before 
the um, sale, but this is really, really good. So it's just, as you can see, it's a sky blue, beautiful color. It's great in two coats. This isn't a one coater, but that's fine. And it's just, the color is just so beautiful. This is this perfectly peaceful blue to me. I really enjoyed this. Alright guys, so it's that time we're finally going to do a little sneak peek of my brand. So as I talked about last Saturday, my brand is called Moonshine Manny. Uh, we worked on the website and in social media stuff and a lot of that stuff this um, holiday weekend. So we're really just so close to the launch and we're so excited. Okay, so Moonshine Manny. And um, like I said, it's going to be shipping internationally, and it is a six-piece collection, and it is based off the movie Elf, which is my favorite holiday movie. I just love it because it combines so much fun humor, but it's a family film, and it's Christmas, which is my favorite time of the year. So there are six polishes. Let me get them up here so you can see. Here are the six colors, and excuse my Cinderella hand. She's not painted right now. So we have a holiday green and red here, and let me tell you what they are first. So this one, I'm not gonna tell you the names until Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday is when my whole video is coming up. But this um, polish is for Buddy. And then this polish here, the red, is for the main lead female in the show. And then I have a very warm golden metallic. This one, I just, mm, I just love. Okay, you know me, I love a good yellow. And um, I just really wanted something really rich and really warm for holiday. Everything in this collection is named off after something fun and silly in the show. And so here's a few more polishes. We have a turquoise in here. And this is one of the three linear holographics in the collection. So it's not showing up in this uh, lighting in my office here, but this one is a linear holographic. And then we have two more. Oh, the, um, the holiday red is a linear holographic. And the very deep blackened grape is a linear holographic as well. So can you imagine what I named this polish? Hmm, you guys are gonna all be thinking <laughs> what the names are probably. And then, I'm so excited about this one, you guys, because this is a purple polish with very strong gold shimmer, and you know how much I love my gold shimmer, so I combined my two great loves in this polish. It's purple, with, it's like really, really strong gold shimmer, you guys. It just absolutely glows, which I was so excited when I got this recipe to the part where I wanted it, and I was like, yes, this is exactly what I wanted it to look like. So. There um, is the last polish. We have three linear holographics. Um, this green has micro gold flakies in it. So it's um, strong green and gold kind of going together there in that polish. And um, then we have this gold metallic here and then the purple cream. So, so much stuff here. Um, I'm so excited to share these with you guys. I'm going to be giving you live application on Wednesday, of course, so that you can see how they apply. I've also sent this collection out to six different people for PR, and so you will be seeing their swatches and videos show up on December 1st, which is when the collection officially launches. If you guys are seeing flies in here, I'm so sorry, I can't help it. It just drives me nuts but I can't get them before I start filming. And you know, I've talked about this before. I live in the country now and so, ain't. Anyway, I'm so excited you guys, like I said. Please stop back on Wednesday to watch me apply them. And I just, I am just so giddy about this to be able to share with you the things that I like because what my brand is basically about, it's about fun primarily because that's important to me, but it's about good polish, and it's going to be about the kinds of stuff that I like. You guys know I like great formulas. You guys know I love creams. I love the shimmer. I love holographic. You guys know the stuff I like. So that's what's going to be really important to me. And I was going to wait and talk about this. This is a long spiel about this. But um, 
These are actually 17 milliliter bottles. So that was important to me too. Um, I don't want to get into it too much, but um, yeah, they're really, really big bottles. Not like, not like they're not going to fit on their shelf, your shelf. They totally fit on your shelf. But they're just, they're nice size. And so you're getting a really good amount. And that was important to me as well, to not be like skimpy and still charge indie prices. You know what I mean? Like it's going to be indie price, but it's not going to be skimpy because you guys know that that's one of my pet peeves. So anyway, there is your little sneak peek of the line and please stop back in on Wednesday for a full in-depth review of the polishes. And I'm just so excited, you guys. I'm just, I'm so excited. I just don't even know what to do with myself. I'm that excited. So let's get back to swatch rest. So for purple this week, I picked up a Sally Hansen Color Therapy Polish because I really wanted to try these out and you guys know I have a love affair with the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicures, which is the same bottle as these by the way. Um, so I wanted to see how these color therapies apply. Of course, I picked like a dusty purple, so it's a deep polish, so automatically that's going to probably, I knew it was going to make it apply a little bit better than if I picked like a light peachy nude or something. So the formula here is great. This feels very similar to when I applied the new Essie Gel Couture polishes. These aren't claiming to be gel-like polishes in any means. Sally, Sally Hansen has a completely different line for that. But they did feel very luscious and very, I wouldn't say hydrating, but because they go on silkily, it almost feels like that. So I did really enjoy these, or uh, this one. I picked up the um, number 400 and it's called Exotic Acai. And I really loved it, you guys. This is beautiful and um, it practically, it wasn't really a one coater, but it was close and it just applied very nicely. It didn't get all over the place. So I definitely really enjoyed it. And of course the color is great. I'm gonna pick up more whenever I can find them on sale. Today I have a polish from Avon and this is um, in their gel finish line and this one's called Barely There and so in the gel finish line they claim to be a 7-in-1 nail enamel and on the bottle it doesn't say what the 7-in-1 is but I guess you really don't need base coat, you don't need top coat, that kind of stuff. These flies are driving me nuts, I can see them flying in front of the camera, I'm sorry guys. Um, this is nice, it is a, definitely a two coater. The color is really lovely though, it's just a really easy neutral to wear. It's a great cream, it's just, it's, it's good. you guys what media I watched this week. We're going to go over it quickly because I spent a long time talking about Moonshine Manny. So I watched the BFG. It's great. It's so cute. The little girl actress is great. It really took me back to my childhood because I loved that book. I loved reading how the BFG was talking. If you guys remember reading that or if you've watched it yet, he has a funny way of talking where he kind of just mixes things up and it's so cute and it's just so adorable. And the man who, the actor who plays the character is so great as well. So I definitely really enjoyed that. Um, I watched the ending three times because Salem kept falling asleep. It's not the most like action packed film, but neither is the book. It does have exciting parts. It's, you know, but it's more like, it's more intellectually funny. You know what I mean? Like you have to think about it a little bit. But it's really beautiful, especially the part with the dreams. Oh, I totally recommend it, you guys. So I watched that. I also, of course, watched the finale of Dancing with the Stars. I don't want to spoil it for anybody if somebody's waiting a whole week to TiVo it. Um, do we even say TiVo anymore? I don't know. But uh, the finale was so good. And I was okay with any of the three people winning, but I won't spoil it who won. But anyway, that was the media that I watched this week. Really, really great media. I really enjoyed it. The finale of Dancing with the Stars, by the way 
is my Super Bowl. So <laughs> I really loved it. And Tim actually watched with me. I know. It's like if I was sitting there to watch the Super Bowl with Tim, that's what I told him. So it was a fun time all around. So here we are at the last two polishes and they are both indie. So the first one is from KB Shimmer and I picked this up when she was having um, a bunch of her polishes really discounted. Well, you know, I think her polishes are like 10 or 11 a piece and they were discounted down to like seven or four, depending on the polish. I can't remember how, you know, what this one was priced. But this one is one that I definitely took notice of because I thought it was so interesting a couple of collections back, so I jumped on it. And this is Open Toed Shoes. And it is what I've had on in my nails in this video. And it's just a very gray green, like a light gray green. <laughs> and it has uh, yellow, blue, purple, and then holographic glitters in there. It's just so interesting and weird that I knew I had to get it. Is it a polish I want to wear every day of my life? No. But it has yellow and purple glitters in it and this weird greeny thing. It's just too cool. It was too cool not to uh, get. So I enjoyed it. Um, it was not my A plus polish of the week, which you are about to see. But I think it was nice. I did three coats with this one because it really did need some building up. I think they made the base really kind of on the sheer side so that you could really see all the glitters, which is good. KB Shimmer, sometimes you really do have to do three coats with their polishes. A lot of times actually for me with their glitters, but they keep the base really thin so that you're not overwhelming your nail when you do that third coat, which is the way to go. So my A plus polish of the week comes from D Lush Polish and I spotted this polish this summer and I really wanted to get the collection but I didn't get it and actually when I was looking at the collection I was like you know there's really only one polish there that I just know I have to have and it's this purple one with this rosy copper uh, micro flakes in it and this one's called I'm Jaws Sane and so Jaws, I knew I had to get it because of Jaws, I have a thing with that movie because I watched it when I was little with my dad. Anyway. And it's the purple with the micro flakies, and so I was like, okay, yes, I have to get it. This is great, you guys. Um, I did notice, actually, when I was applying it, this kind of smells skunky, which I'm wondering if it has something to do with the, I think it's neon um, pigment in here. It did smell kind of skunky, which didn't totally put me off of it because I couldn't smell it after it was on. It was just while I was applying it, I was like, hmm. But nail polish doesn't smell good anyway, so, you know, it just depends on what kind of bad smell that you're smelling when you put on your nail polish. Um, but that was the only thing. This is almost a one coater. It does dry matte though, and I think it looks best um, with a nice glossy top coat. It just looked so delicious that way. I love this. This is my A plus of the week. Even better than all the rest, and I had a lot of really good ones this week, so I really love this. If you happen to spot this, and you are a purple polish lover like me, and you need every purple polish, then you should jump on this because it's divine. So that was Swatch Fist this week. I had so much to talk about. I'm so sorry. This video is really long. Um, but thank you for hanging out with me through to the end of the video. I love you guys so much. This next week is going to be huge for me. But I do plan on having lots of videos up for you still. Because I just have so much content that I need to share with you guys. And I want to get out to you. So we're going to be looking at some mainstream things. Some indie things. And especially please stop back in on Wednesday and let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorites are. Give me a little bit of feedback. That'd be awesome. So today's feedback, of course, what you need to do is let me know if you want to be entered into the giveaway. 
And then um, make sure you're subscribed if you want to be um, eligible to enter for that. I just sneezed a couple times, which is why my eyes probably look like this. Um, and let me know what a, your A plus polish this week was, please. And if you've seen any great movies or TV that you really enjoyed, I always like knowing about that, you guys, because that's another thing that I really love. I think that's it. Thank you for spending some of your day with me. I love you guys so much. Happy Swatch Fest. Have a super great weekend with your families, with your friends. Just take some nice chill time for you. I will see you guys back on Monday with the next video. And I think that's it. Take care, you guys. I love you so much. Bye.